Hey, welcome back. So our newbie uh, tutorial series, we're going to keep moving through the initial newbie cavern. Uh, we've just dealt with this little goblin shaman here. He was in control. We've emptied our inventory. We're light. We're ready to fight. Um, I think up ahead in the next little piece of cavern, we may have multiple goblin enemies. And that requires our first little piece of strategy, and it's something called pulling. So what I'm going to do is F is going to equip my weapon, which is my sword, which we were called in the number three slot. I'm going to check to make sure that my shield is still there. And it is. I think that's good enough for now. And I think I'm going to equip the fireball as a spell. The goal here is if you're going into an area that may have multiple opponents, you don't want to fight them all. The shield only blocks what's in front of you, not behind you. If you get grounded, you, you're in your defenseless. So what I want to do is find a nice place to pull two. And so we'll be in a corridor. If I find things, I'll try to pull them into the corridor to fight me where I want to fight, not where they want to fight. There he is, right there. So, I have to look around and see what's going on. He sees me. This is fine. So let's get him to face me somewhere. So, if he had any friends out there, they didn't see anything. Which is what we wanted. We're still safe and sound. We didn't take any damage at all. Now let's see if he had any friends. Notice these. These are traps. They were up on the ceiling. When he crossed this wire that was a pot wire, he broke the wire and that sprung the trap. If we'd have been walking and saw this, we would first have to stop and disarm the trap. Otherwise it would cause us harm, if not instant death. Is there anything else in this little area? I don't think so. Ah, there are more opponents here. I know this area. But this is something else. That's a dead rat, right? Good. See those logs up ahead? That's a trap that they've set, so when you go down that hill, then the goblin's going to jump out, push the logs, and crush you. But, what if you surprise them with their own trap? So I'm sneaking, and I'll try not to get too close to that fire, but you see the goblin there? Oh, he sees me. He's grabbing a bow. I'm going to push the log. The goblin crushed by his own log trap. Well, we call that a success. After a quick exploration of this area that we just went past in the room, we know how to do this. Don't worry if you're not getting these. It's not because you don't know what you're doing. It's because your skill is too low. Only way to get your skill up is by failing. So just fail off and fail early. Later on, it will be far more important that you can open things, and later on, you won't have any problems. Okay, tough one. I want to stay out of that light area. But I also want to loot these goblins that we crushed. Who wouldn't want two free lockpicks? And some more arrows. Now before I check the loot, I'm going to make sure that there's nothing that can see me when I get out into that light area. That looks safe enough. You can use those even if you're in a fight. You're in the middle of a fight. Don't panic. 
you can always just hit tab, and the fight will stop around you. You have lots of time while you're in here. Come in here, and just take your time, take a break, and then if you click weak portion of healing, it'll heal you for, in this case, 20 points. And that's good to know. The problem is when you're in a fight, sometimes the adrenaline gets going, and you start to get crazy, and you forget. You can just take a break at whatever you want. This is another cavern that may have multiple people in it because we're, you know, moving forward in the game. So remember, pulling is your objective, and I like to pull with the fireball, which is already loaded up. That was one. Review. One is fireball. Two is bow. Three is sword. Sword. Fireball. Eight. The mistake. Very cautious to Back up, fight them on our terms. He's got a shield now. Wait for him to put his shield down before you attack. Feel his shield. And his lockpick. And he's his lockpick. Brought him down. So, we got friends out here. But they haven't seen it yet. We're smart enough to pull him back somewhere safe out of the way. Hard to see in the dark. I don't think we're better at this than we are. Over there is the goblin shaman. He is a magical special. He can long distance. He can cast his own thing. Very cautious. I have learned another trick. It is him over there. And there's that rock. I can think that for the oh, there's another one down there. I'm gonna pull this rock. And it opens a gate and lets the rats out, and then the rats will attack them. And then we'll go back to think. No, I think that guy's seen it. We're ready for him. Yeah, much tougher this guy. like fire though. And that's another thing to keep in mind. They all have different strengths. Apparently this guy is not a big fan of fire. So happy to light him on fire. How about this guy? I'm not sure why he keeps running away. He's trying to do the same trick. He's trying to pull me out so that his friends can attack. Over there is the magician. We want to keep away from him for now. We'd rather fight him separately. Good loser. You good day. We are out of mana, so no more magic is going to happen. But we're hidden. There's still rats down there. I thought I let them out. And that salmon is still running around. Well, he's worried about the rat. those rats. We're not that worried about. At this point, this is good practice for our armor. Three. Uh. No, five. For health. Whoa. Uh. Keep fighting me all you want there, buddy. I need some light armor skill. Whoa. 
Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> My character is not thrilled about this. Whoa! This is a good time to demonstrate what you can always pause. Hit tab. Come to your potions. And this will give me that's fatigue. That's not my concern. I'm out of basically bottom is fatigue. That's from jumping and aiming your bow. It's fine. I'm out of magicka. And I'm out of well, I have a small dent in my health. So take a weak potion of sorcery to bring up my magicka a little bit. No, I brought it up a lot because I have almost none. And a weak potion of healing. And completely heal. Back into the place. And again. Sometimes you have to let them toughen you up. Your armor gets a little bit. And that's where the light arc. But after a while, it can be offensive. Hack Good day, Mr. Rat. Good day. What kind of loot did we win? Our sorcerer. Ooh, expensive gem. It weighs almost nothing. That's perfect. Things that weigh almost nothing are always valuable. And repair hammers are very good, and I'm going to show you about repair hammers. Oh, they were going to show us about repair hammers anyways. Let's finish exploring this area, and then we will have a... another repair hammer. That's awesome. Ale has very little value, um, but it's worth money, worth gold. So I tend to hang on to it because it's not that heavy. Uh, and then when I'm in town, I go to the bartenders and they give you the best dollar for that. Think to remember when you're shopping, the bartender is going to give you the most money for alcohol. A weaponsmith is going to give you most money for weapons you're selling. An armor can give you the most money for the armor you make time to sell. This is the pen that the rats were locked in before we released them. Remember, jump is E. Because sometimes you gotta jump, and that uses fatigue. That's where green fatigue went way down just from jumping. Because our acrobatic felt too low. That's another thing you want to do. And don't forget to, uh, to hide yourself again. I'm going to press C to bring my health back up again. You're out of magicka. Our fatigue is coming back. You're hidden again. I think we're ready to move on. Um, let me show you about repairing armor. No, I'll show you that in the next video. I'll make it separate video. So that's it for this one. We've learned a lot about actually just living our life and fighting.